In this video, we're going to define activation energy, and that will then help us understand potential energy diagrams. Here's a picture I found on the internet um, of a ram. Remember from biology, a ram is a male sheep. Um, this ram um, is going to push the boulder off the cliff. However, the boulder just can't roll off the cliff. Um, it has to be given some energy by the ram first. You can see in order for it to actually fall, he has to push it up first. And then the reaction will proceed, or then the boulder will fall. So it's almost as if the ram has to supply some energy to get that reaction going. Well, that's kind of like what activation energy is. Activation energy is the minimum amount of energy that must be supplied to start a chemical reaction. We can abbreviate that E sub A, the energy of activation. And I've attempted to explain this again with a little cartoon drawing. Now, if we want this ball um, to eventually end up on the floor, if this ball is rolling here, it really doesn't require any additional energy to get it to go down to the floor. It will just simply fall to the floor um, you know, because of gravity. However, if we have a barrier here, like some type of handrail or something like that, um, well, we're going to have to supply some energy to get that ball over the handrail before the ball can um, find its final resting place here on the ground. So the amount of energy here that we have to supply to get the ball to go, that's the activation energy. So keep that in mind as you watch the next couple videos about um, endothermic and exothermic reactions.